Today we're gonna learn how to effectively use Herod and snowball our way to an overpowered late game monster. We go over how to utilize the right items, a lot of tips and tricks and the combos you should understand. So let's start right away. Well, this video is about how to play her as jungler. The information can also be applied when you're choosing her in one of the lanes. We start our jungle route at the opposite buff from the gold lane, because we want to try to take out the marksman during our first gank. Herod isn't very quick at clearing the monsters, especially not during her first levels, so it would help if an ally assists you. I won't go over her skills, since I assume you can read them yourself. Try to get to Little Wonder, because it adds almost 100 gold. After reaching level 4, you can start your gank, and Herod is already quite strong at this point. Just use your ult and spam the first two skills to move towards your target and deal some decent damage. Only try this if the chance of staying alive is very high, because you need to keep your focus on farming during early game to buy items. The first item are the magic boots, which we need for the cooldown reduction, because the goal is to reach 40% which we do with the first three items and the blue buff. Wow, the outside world is quite intriguing. Evil doer, prepare for your judgment. All that is evil should be sealed away. Ally has been slain. Your demeanor disappoints me. You can't catch me. Try not to gank without the blue buff, since the 10% extra cooldown reduction helps a lot with casting her skills more often to deal higher damage. Stealing the jungle monsters of the enemy is an effective way to increase your god while decreasing it of your opponent. The second item is the Starlium Skite, which adds some well needed cooldown reduction, as well as adding true damage to your basic attack after using a skill. This helps Herod quite a lot, since her skills can be cast often. The most easy way to use her ultimate is casting it against an enemy to slow the target, skill 2 and the basic attack and skill 1 right away, which already has the potential to deal lots of damage. Then your second skill is available again and try this combo again while hitting the area of your ultimate. Try to move back a bit before casting a skill 2 if you don't reach the area yet. A well played out ultimate can only be performed whenever you keep making contact with the sword. The next item is the Feather of Heaven, which adds a little bit of cooldown reduction, which makes us reach 40% cooldown reduction, but we want this item because it helps dealing more damage with her basic attack. 
This makes Herod deal decent damage even if she can't cast a skill yet, which also helps well jungling. Like you see, this item helps a lot to clear the monster fast. The combination of skill 2 and the basic attack and the full damage of skill 1 already erases a big part of the target's HP. The next item is the Concentrated Energy, which we mainly need for some extra spell vamp, as well as the increased magic power and damage from the stacks. We now have two items with stacks and you need to remember that Herod is a lot stronger with the full amounts of stacks against enemies. So try to go in with already some stacks saved up. This is a great example of starting a fight while already have full stacks. This makes Herod deal incredibly high damage so the only thing to do is to aim well. The spell vamp from her passive and the concentrated energy will restore massive health as long as you hit your targets. The next item is Holy Crystal, which adds massive magic power, which will now help for her first two skills, the true damage of her Stardium Skite, and the extra damage with her basic attack from the Feather of Heaven. <laughs> you can catch me. I'll hunt you to the end of the earth. So we now deal an extra 700 true damage after using a skill with our basic attack from the Stardium Sky, which is massive. Let's see if the skill 2 plus basic attack and skill 1 combo will take out the full HP of a target. Your demeanor disappoints me. Evildoers, prepare for your judgment. I think it kind of does. The cool thing of Herod is that her passive at spell vamp, the more enemies are around, which makes her so strong during teamfights. Kill. 
This was my guide about how to play Herod and I really hope this information helps you to become a beast during late game. If you have any questions about playing Herod, please use the comment section and I promise to try to answer you. I would also like to hear which hero you want to see next. If you're interested in playing junglers, you should check out this video about the 5 best ones right now.